Hello everybody, Vikingsman18 here with another WWE news update video. As you can see from the title, uh, breaking news was released about an hour ago that Billy Gunn has been fired by the WWE. Yes, it has been reported and it's been confirmed by the WWE that uh, Billy Gunn was released from his contract due to failing a drug test. The article exactly says, Monty Billy Gunn Sop was fired by WWE on Friday due to testing positive for elevated levels of testosterone and a power lifting meat on July 25th. Gunn's drug test at the meet came up with a 37 to 1 testosterone uh, ratio, which was well over the 4 to 1 limit. Due to the failure, he was suspended from powerlifting for four years. WWE officials were not aware of him competing as a powerlifter or his suspension from the sport until just a few weeks ago. The 52-year-old former tag team champion has been working as a WWE trainer for uh, since 2012. And yeah, guys, uh, it's been confirmed by the WWE that he was released from his contract, in other words, fired, for failing the drug test. And, uh, many people are wondering why he was fired instead of just given a warning. I honestly can't answer that because usually with an issue like this, WWE gives you three strikes. You get one strike where you're suspended for maybe a month, the second strike you're suspended for 60 to 90 days, and the third strike is termination. Why he was fired after the first one, uh... I don't know, because I mean, ever since he's been back with the company, I don't think he's had any issues. But yeah, guys, it sucks. Billy Gunn's no longer working with the WWE, which is a shame. Uh, I guess no more New Age Outlaws for a while, if they ever were going to do anything again. Hopefully he'll be back eventually, though. I'm sure he will eventually. Uh, this isn't that big of an issue, I don't think, to where he would be suspended for life. But uh, yeah, it sucks. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys for more later on. Have a good one.